What's going on everybody? Dylan here with Hop Killer Brewery here to show you home brewers how to transfer your beer into a keg with minimal to no oxygen exposure from a carboy. Now you can do it easily with other vessels such as any bucket with a spigot, um, conicals, brew buckets, etc. But with a carboy that has no sampling port and or valve on it this is how I do it, and I'm going to show you right now. So I like to transfer my beers that have already been cold crashed just to avoid any sort of clogging in the corny keg posts. Uh, it's not necessarily too big of an issue if you don't dry hop your beers, uh, but if you do dry hop your beers, you could get any particles uh, in the post. Uh, pop it, which I've happened to have had before on my New England style, but these are just a hoppy Hefeweizen with uh, Amarillo, Centennial, and uh, I think Denali maybe, I'd have to double check. But one was dry hop during High Krausen like I do one of my dry hops during my New England style IPAs and this was just uh, dry hopped a few days ago. So these are cold crash for 36 hours. I'm going to go ahead and get the kegs sanitized and push out all the liquid with CO2 and I will show you guys that right now. So these are the two kegs I'll be using. Um, they already are cleaned. And what I just started doing was filling them up with some water. I like to fill it up the majority of the way, pour the star sand in, and then pour the rest, because if you do the star sand first, uh, you're gonna have foam absolutely everywhere. So all right, and they go ahead and finish filling it back up. I want to get it full all the way. Put this lid back on. <clears throat> get it completely full, and then what I will do, uh, I like to get the lid gasket underneath all done up, get it seated again, and what I will do is get this other keg out of the way, and just pretty much rock it back and forth, get everything all mixed and good in there. Um, after that I'll let it sit for a couple of minutes, and while I do that I will go get my CO2 tank with my little uh, tube adapter, so where I'm gonna push all the volume of liquid out of this keg into the other keg to sanitize this one as well, um, while keeping this uh, zero oxygen. If, if it's filled with uh, water all the way, there's no room for any oxygen. Um, there might be some in there, a little headspace, but I'm not too worried about it. Fill that with this, do the same thing here, push it all out, so I'll have two totally purged kegs, and then we can transfer the beer over. All right, so it's been about five minutes or so. I got the CO2 out here with the line hooked up, uh, regulators on. I have my little jumper to run from the out to outpost on both of these kegs. And so that what that's gonna do is I'm gonna put the end on the inside, out to out, that's gonna push it up the dip tube and into this, uh, fill this keg. That one will be free of oxygen and ready to rock. Let this sit for five minutes and then I will show you the next step. Jumper's on, gas is on. Just gonna go ahead and pop that on there. And it's already starting to feed it out. So now we just wait to where all the liquid's transferred over into this keg. Uh, and then I will go get the racking cane for the carboy and I'll show you how we get the liquid out of here into that bucket over there as our sanitizer bucket for our parts we're going to use to uh, rack the beer off the carbo out of the carboy. This is the racking cane uh, setup I use to transfer out of the carboy. Uh, it just sits on over the mouth of the carboy with this, uh, this little racking cane with a you know little blocker for the trub and yeast patty. Um, put this in, 
fill with CO2 at a very low rate, which I'll show you, probably like 2 PSI or so, and it pushes the beer out of here, um, there will be a little, one of those ball lock attachments will go onto the end of this, into one of the kegs, and I leave the poppets open. If you want to do a closed transfer, you can run a, a lead from the in post into some sanitizing solution, but, you know, either, whatever you prefer to do, uh, that's how I do it. All right, it's been uh, five or so minutes. I've shaken this up, took the lid off, got the gasket and underneath the gasket sanitized. Uh, I put the ball lock connector on the outpost for the racking cane that we are gonna use to rack off our beer out of the carboy, uh, sanitizing the entire inside of the tubing and this. Um, also the outside once the bucket fills up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the poppet down, or the PRV. Get our CO2 on the in port, and we were gonna push all this liquid out of the keg. And there we go. Gonna let this fill up, and then we'll be ready to rock with getting the beer out of the carboys. All the sanitizer is now out of the keg into the bucket. Both of our both of the kegs are now purged. So we're going to go ahead and move this near the carboys and get to racking. Alright, so we're ready to go ahead and rack the beer into our kegs. Um, what we're going to do is get your spray bottle full of star sand, uh, isopropyl alcohol, or whatever sanitizer you use. And we're going to go ahead and pop this lid off, replace it with the new one and racking arm. And then we're going to put this end from the CO2 tank into the sanitary filter that's going to push CO2 into the carboy and pressure will then push the beer out of the racking arm um, that will be hooked up to this keg. Before you attach this attachment to the keg that will already be in the, into the carboy, please purge your keg fully. Otherwise you will be pushing whatever is in here back into the carboy. So you're going to want to find it right above that troop line and then as you trub, as you get closer to filling the keg, you can slide this up or down as needed. But I always start above so that I'm going to push the rest once I tilt the carboy. So everything's hooked up, caps on, CO2 hooked up, ball lock is on the keg on the out port pop it up to relieve the pressure so now what we're gonna do turn the gas on but have it at zero and slowly start cranking the PSI up with glass you have to be very very careful I do not recommend it with glass this is plastic carboys are not rated for pressure I've done this with both glass and plastic do it at your own risk but as you hear it start going don't mind the PSI on there it's, it's wrong Bad, bad gauge, but you can start to see it flow. It's starting to go. We've got a steady line. I'll let that. Now we're in business. You just want to go slow with this process. The less agitation, the less uh, mixture of oxygen that you'll have um, so yeah so we'll slow and steady as we get closer we'll tilt the carboy over on its side and get the last bit of the beer that we can without getting any of the trub and, and yeast in there that's been compacted from cold crashing so we'll be back when this keg's full all right we uh emptied out the carboy got as much as we could out of there uh popped the pop it back down and now we're going to pull this out dump it in the sanitizer, shake it about, and put it into this one. And do the same into the other keg where it's already hooked up. Make sure you're sanitizing the post connections um, with your spray bottle before and after just to minimize any sort of contamination potential. Alright, so both uh, beers are transferred over. What you're going to want to do uh, is to get your cleaning solution and way you clean your Fermenters ready directly after kegging because as this dries 
the harder and harder harder it is to get off for plastic. I used a sump pump and a bucket of PBW mixture around 130 degrees um, with a little wand that sticks in there and sprays, which I can show you if you want. And these guys are all filled, so what we're going to do is take the CO2, get the ball lock fitting on them, and tap them full of CO2, purge it about four or five times, and then we're good. So we got our gas on. Go ahead and bump it up. Poppets or uh, PRVs are down, and we'll go ahead and fill her up. Pop the pressure. Let it fill. Wait a little bit. Pop the pressure again. Let it sit. And let it sit. You're letting it sit to, in theory, let the CO2 settle below the oxygen so that the oxygen gets bumped up. And then as you pull that, that's what's coming out. And then the CO2 following it. All right. And now just go ahead and do the same thing with the other keg and you are set, man.